Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In this YouTube video, I'm going to cover how to convert European numbers into U.S. numbers. So I'm going to pop over here to this spreadsheet in just one second. But in case you're wondering, a European number may look something like this, 204. And instead of a comma, it'll have a period, 126, comma, 37. That is 204,126 and 37 cents. We would write that here in the U.S. as this number and then probably format it with a comma right there. So over in A1 is how it shows up um, in the European format. So this video came from a question from an executive MBA student from the Terry College of Business at the University of Georgia. I said, great question. So I'm going to go ahead and knock it out right now on the other worksheet. But it's important that you know when you have data, whether it's text or numbers. So after I do that, and the vi video is officially going to be over for that section, I'm going to come and give you a bonus tip. And the question is going to be, are these four cells text or numbers? And guess what? They're all text. So I'm going to come back and show you the function I'm going to use to figure that out. But here we go with the question from the executive MBA student. Over in column A are the European formats. Notice the decimals before the commas. So, and Excel believes that these are text. So I'm going to write the function in Excel. I'm going to use the number value function. There are three arguments in this function. Only one is required. So there's the definition. I'm going to press tab after I did equals n u. It says number value tab. There are the three arguments I'm talking about. The first argument's required. The other two are optional. But I do need all three arguments for this one. So I'm trying to convert this text in A2. Notice it's on text and it's bold. When I do a comma, it goes to the second argument, which is the decimal separator. I'm going to do quotes, comma, quotes. So to change any decimals to commas. Now I want to go to the third argument. So again, I'm going to do a comma. Watch what happens. Group separator will go bold. I do a comma. And again, it's going to be quotes, decimal, quotes. That is it. I closed it. That is the number value function to convert the text in A2 to the number value we use here in the US. There you go. I've actually, just so you know this, I've actually already formatted it. It came out this way right here in cell B2 with general. I just went up here and clicked on the comma style. Crosshairs, double click, or drag down in this example. Uh, the last step would be a copy, paste, values back in A. Real quick, copy, paste, values. And then actually format them again here probably. There you go. Uh, one last item. I'm going to undo just to show you that formula real quick. And I'm going to go do that bonus thing. So if that's what you came for, I'm done with that. I want to show you how I know that stuff is text instead of numbers. Because having text and numbers mixed together will really mess up your sorting. It'll mess up your pivot tables. It'll mess up your subtotals. It messes up a lot of stuff. So this looks like numbers. There are several different ways to find out what's text and what's numbers. But one of my favorites is to just highlight what I already have so I don't have to go write something in column D next to it. I'm going to use the isText function. So conditional formatting. I'm going to write a new rule. I'm going to use a formula. And I'm going to use the isText function. Equals isText. It's going to tell me, is this text? The first cell that I've got selected is C4. Microsoft made that absolute reference, dollar sign C, dollar sign 4. I'm going to use just a dollar sign in front of the C, but not in front of the 4. That is a mixed reference. I have frozen column C, but not the rows. So that is it right there. Go to Format. You can do whatever you want to. I'm going to use a fill color, and I'm going to just put it in yellow. So anything, click OK, anything that's text should be in a yellow background. Those two items that look like numbers are actually text. 
That just proved it. Watch this. So I know I need to fix these and say, oh, that is supposed to be 504. 504, enter. 936, enter. 3, enter. 1, enter. Type my name again. So there's your is text function to find out if stuff is text. There's other ways too, by the way. I appreciate your time. If you have any questions about this number value function or the is text function, let me know. This file will be in my YouTube description so you can download it. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day.